This video is sponsored by Squarespace. And that's good enough. <laughs> I have been trying to do that for so long. We finally did it. Guys, what's going on? So here we are with Crayola, the I guess the leading standard when it comes to crayons, and this is the first time I've ever used crayons. I'm so excited about it. You get 64 in a pack, which blows my mind. How are you getting 64 in such a tiny, but oh God, in such a tiny box? I mean, whoa, that is a lot of colors. And okay, now I'm starting to see how you get them all in there. Cool, um, sharper included. You can sharpen crayons? I mean, I guess you can sharpen them with like a knife, but there's a sharpener for crayons? All right, cool. Oh, he's so cute, look at him. Um. Is that the sharp? Peel back crayon wrapper before sharpening crayon. That's the sharpener. Really? That's actually kind of impressive. I mean, yeah, that's actually part of the box. Okay, that's really, really impressive. Is there a blading there? Mm, just looks like plastic. Wow, you can sharpen crayons. I'm mad impressed already. Uh, I have no idea what all of this gibberish is. The crayon level, not reading that. All right, so um, yeah, there's the box. I guess there's not much more to say about the box. I'm just so proud of myself that I got that spinny thing done in the, in the beginning. We're gonna crack them open. Non-toxic, and why do they say non-toxic? Should I be worried about any other crayons that I own or that I'm going to own in the future for a comparison video? Ah, he's teasing something. Okay, no, but seriously, let's crack them open and see what we've got to work with. We're gonna do a couple of tests, and if the tests work out well, then we're gonna jump into coloring a piece of work with crayons. I'm excited for this one, actually. Okay, that's a bad idea. Forget it. Ooh. Ah! No! No! Fudge! Go in! Forget it. Okay, everyone, so here we have just a standard sketch paper. I'd, ah, paper cut. I managed to avoid it. Nice. So yeah, we have a standard sheet of sketch paper here. I don't actually know what paper is best for crayons. I've done no research on them. So I'm just gonna jump into this fresh and see what we can do. I'm gonna grab a color right now. Why do I look so nervous about this? I'm gonna grab a color and just see what we can do, they're so tiny. They feel kind of cool, actually. Um, this is so weird that I've never used crayons, isn't it? I, I feel really bad now that I've just managed to go my entire art life without crayons. Let's have a look at what we can do. No, I don't like this, guys. That... Well, that one's nice. Okay, this one is way better. This one feels like a Prismacolor. Um, this, that's not too bad, actually. <laughs> go away. Can you blend with these things? Uh, let's just try that color. It's kind of blending. <sighs> Go away. All right, that's gonna get annoying. Go off my paper. Wait, am I erasing it? No, don't like them. Let's try the sharpener. So that goes, wait, what does it say? Peel back the crayon wrapper before sharpening. I don't want to damage it. I... I wish it had told me before I bit my nails. Man. Yes. Please. Is that enough? It doesn't say how much. Let's just. But it doesn't sharpen it. It it makes it flat. Is this supposed to be flat? Am I missing something? I'm so confused. It sharpened it. It did something. I don't know what it's done, but it. it... I apologize for that moment. Um, right, so I'm gonna get on with doing a piece now. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna do it, but we're gonna try and color it and come back here. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. All right, so what are we gonna draw? Spider-Man, I guess. I, I didn't actually have a plan for anything to draw for this video. I was gonna just keep it quite simple, do some scribbles on some paper, but I figured I gotta do a character. I gotta do something and Let's do Spider-Man. I, I like him. I really like Spider-Man. He's my favorite Marvel character. Yeah, that's a lie. Hulk probably is. But he's like a nice character. I like him. Spider-Man's cool. Drawing him is a problem though because I haven't really thought this far ahead actually. Um, how am I going to do the webbing? The web patterns are really... The web patterns are a nightmare actually. How am I going to do that with crayons? This is... Well, I guess we're going to find out. All right, so with Spider-Man done, it is time to get on with coloring this. And I don't really know how this is gonna work. I started doing the webbing and then I thought to myself, how is that gonna apply? Can I actually do the white webbing or do I have to do just black webbing? I don't actually know how these crayons layer on top of each other. All right, so this isn't, it's actually not working too bad, to be honest. It's sort of, 
They're sort of working like colored pencils, which is pretty nice and not what I expect. Stop rolling! It's, um, I think if I keep it very light, it's gonna make it easier for me to just adjust later on. And with the light source that I'm doing here, it's nothing fancy. It's just sort of a basic sort of shimmer light source. Just a very typical one that you would see with Spider-Man. Okay, so let's add a second tone and just see what we've got to work with. Uh, I might add a little bit of detail in maybe, you know, this sort of where the eyebrow or whatever this is. What is that? Stop it! Can I scratch it off? I can. Go away from the paper. Wait, now I can't, I can't color there again. What has happened? No! It's just getting worse. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Check it out. This is not bad. I like it. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Right now, I, I really, at the moment, we're only just starting with this, but I actually really like it. Those of you who follow my art channel, those of you who have seen much of my artwork, you know that I really admire the gritty style of artwork. I really, I'm not a fan of the clean styles, although I do a lot of clean styles. I am a fan of this stuff. I think it looks best when it's sort of rough, doesn't look refined, and it looks accessible to everyone. It looks like something that's not, it's not intimidating. You know, when it's, when it's not refined, when it's not perfect, that's what I like about this. I'm actually, I'm racing through this really quickly because I think it looks good. And it's at that point where it's, it's, it, it's not really nice, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, look, I'm making silly mistakes, but that is, that is what art is about, to be honest. Making mistakes and just learning from them, but at the same time, enjoying the process. Ah, bugger, went outside the line again. You know what? Not bad. We could play it into a shadow if we get ourselves a dark gray. Mmm, it's not bad. These things are so small, it's really hard to sort of control them. They're really, really tiny. The gradient shifts are actually pretty good. And slipping this black in there is just such a nice way of getting a sort of nice deep tone that you just, you just love. Yeah. Stop. I'm certainly utilizing a lot of my um, pencil style into this. I'm not really doing a different style with these because as I said, this is my first time ever using crayons. So I'm just totally unfamiliar on, on what works with crayons and what is the best style. And as I've always said in many of my videos, the best thing that I like about just trying new things is I always let the tools themselves dictate the style I should use. And that's why I don't practice with them. That's why I always just jump straight into a project without having any sort of prior knowledge to them because I just think it's the best way of discovering what works best for them and what works into your comfort zones. I'm working it the way that I'm familiar with and the way that I would work with any utensil. And if it doesn't work, then I start to mix things up. And I, as time goes on right now, as you're seeing already, the difference between these two areas of shadows is immense. And that's what's happening. I'm slowly but surely progressing into the style that I think is working best for these or what is most comfortable for these crayons. Well, that looks really nice right there. So before we move on to anything else, I think I should start doing some line works. And this is where the sharpener is actually going to come in handy because this is really flat right now. So, so now I want to use one of these edges to get this webbing in, which is something I just can't do when it's been used. So that sharpener is actually quite useful for this, but everything else I haven't really had a need or a use for this sharpener. This is crazy. I wish I could express to you exactly how much of a problem this stuff is. It's getting everywhere. I don't know what it is. I think it's part of the, well, it's, it's gotta be part of the, I mean, what else am I using? It's gotta be part of the wax, but it's everywhere. However, I kind of like it. Right, so, then, one blue, um, purple, blue, really? Okay, and uh, I guess that's it, really. We just need those two colors and black should do. So I'm gonna start the same way I did with red. I'm gonna lay it down some, and this is gonna be a lot easier because I don't actually have to worry about doing any of the uh, lines on it. So if we just, I don't know, do some basic shadowing or basic lighting, I'm gonna use this for two shades, I hope. That's the plan anyway. Hmm. If we go a little bit darker, create a bit of a highlight there, and this could actually work out. It feels, you know what it feels like? I'm, I'm trying to figure out what these feel like to use. Uh, firstly, they're extremely uncomfortable. They do not fit my hand properly. You can see that they're creating these sort of marks on my hand. It's, um, they're not comfortable to hold. They're very small, very, very small, but that is not blue, that's purple. I mean, it says it's blue, but, uh, all right, azul. Oh, I don't know what that color is. Oh, it is blue. That does not look anything like the wax. Never mind, won't argue, looks good. But yeah, they, they sort of feel like um, a really, a really waxy, I guess Prisma color would kind of be the only example I could think of. Like a really waxy coloring pencil. 
sort of like when I'm using them lightly like this, I feel like I have tremendous control. But uh, as soon as you start to apply any sort of thickness to it, uh, once you start to try and really get that pigment down in there, they become very glossy and pretty much, pretty much is like drawing on wax, which is essentially what it is. So you you just move from this sort of sketch pencil into wax, and then it's kind of not workable. Perhaps there's another type of paper I should be using, and if there is another type of paper, I'm sure you guys will let me know about that. Because as I say, I don't know anything about these, what are they called? Crayons. I know nothing about them, so if there is a specific paper to use for them, uh, if you let me know about it, I will keep that in mind for the next video when I do my comparison video, or whenever I do the comparison video. So that would be a tremendous help if you could do that. And let's just quickly finish this one up and we'll give some final reviews in a moment. This blue sucks. It has no pigment. I just lent my hand in this and I'm just wondering. Oh, not too bad actually. I mean, this, there is a lot of specs, but I really like them. I think this whole video could be summed up in like one sort of term and that is, but I really like it. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. This is my first ever time using crayons, Crayola crayons, well, crayons in general, and there are the results. I'm not too displeased by this. I actually think it looks kind of cool, and it looks like something that you would kind of, I don't know, sketch away in a sort of rough sketchbook. It looks organic and gritty and rough, and this is just a style of work that I like to do, that I enjoy doing, uh, because it's just something that is not to be taken too seriously. This is clearly a fun piece of artwork, and I think the results are, they show, it's just a fun piece of artwork. It's nothing too serious. What would I say about this? Well, you know, everyone has their own opinions about what they think about this piece, but for me right now, I really like the way it looks. I do think it looks good, and I do think that using the crayons to create something like this, it looks very good, and I do like it. That being said, the experience of using the crayons sucked. Didn't enjoy using them at all. I mean, throughout this video, you heard me say a lot of positives about them, and I tried to be as positive as I can, but it was so much about these that are fiddly, the size of them is dreadful, the little specks, while they look nice to have these little specks around the paper, it does look nice, and I do like it, it's very gritty, again, it looks kind of authentic, I like that, but... It's driving me crazy having all them there. This is driving me crazy. I shouldn't have done this on this paper, but I've got pieces all over my hands. I've got these little marks. It's just driving me mad. You get a tremendous variety of colors. That is something. And we only used a few colors here, but when we do our test video or when we do the comparison video, I'm going to be using a wider range of colors and we'll try to do as much as we can when doing that video. But for now, hey, here we go. We managed to create Spider-Man using crayons for the first ever time. What do you think of the results? What do you think of the review, video, whatever it is that I'm doing here and what I've done here? And did you enjoy today's video? Would you like to see me use crayons more in the future? Do you like the results and perhaps you want to have your eyes hurt more by stuff like this? I don't know. Let me know in a comment down below. I look forward to reading all of your comments. And um, yeah, that's about all I've got to say about that. <laughs> Now before we finish up, I just want to give a quick thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Now whether you're just getting started or an established brand, Squarespace is here to support the way you do business. If you're an artist or a creative person, you probably are if you're watching this video, you are likely looking for somewhere or struggling to find somewhere where you can sell your artwork. Well, Squarespace is here to help. Using Squarespace, you can sell your art directly or bill for design services. You can create a custom portfolio and galleries to display your work while also adding password protected pages to share privately with your clients. Squarespace offers a 24 hour a day, seven days a week customer care team. And with all of their team being in their offices, you can typically get a response within about an hour. So if you have a problem day or night, you're never too far from someone who can help you. And with Squarespace sponsoring today's video, they have graciously supplied me with a 10% discount code of your first purchase of a website or domain. Head to squarespace.com forward slash ADC art when you're ready to launch or use the domain code ADC art. All of this information and links can be found in the description down below. Once again, big thank you to Squarespace, and I'll see you in the next video.